Hello there, welcome to our channel 2 Minutes Technology. Today we'll uh, talk about uh, one of the uh, very important statistical tests called chi-square test. It is a very important part of IB curriculum and obviously part of APSAT and PSAT examination. So we have a question here and we would solve this question. We'll learn chi-square test on the given question using uh, a graphing calculator. So the question says, a computer programming aptitude test has been developed for high school seniors. The test designers claim that the scores on the test are independent of the types of schools the student attends, be it rural, suburban, or urban. A study involving a random sample of students from each of these types of institutions yielded the following information, where aptitude scores range from 200 to 500, with 500 indicating the greatest aptitude and 200 the least. The entry in each cell is observed number of students achieving the indicated score on the test. So we have a cross-dimensional matrix where we have various scores and uh, number of students from uh, these three regions. So let us use Casio graphing calculator. I'll be using an emulator and I'll uh, define my observed table that is given into a matrix into a 3 by 3 matrix. So let us go into run matrix matrix and define our first matrix. So it will be three by three. And let's put in the values. So the values are 33, 65, 82. Five seventy-nine, ninety-five twenty-one, forty-seven and sixty-three. Okay, so we will also define an expected matrix in matrix B, and that will also be a three by three matrix. So I'll put the dimension as three by three. And I'll just come back. Now I'll go to statistics and I'll learn this chi-square test. Pushing F3, chi-square and chi-square two-way test. Our observed matrix, we had put in matrix A, so that is selected correctly. If it is not selected cor correctly, you can select from F1, but it is selected, so I'll leave it as it is. Our expected matrix, we would like to put the values in matrix B. And then I can go ahead and draw it. Or let us calculate first. So you see our chi square value that has come out to be 1.3207163 and our p value is 0 0.8578510. And because our p value is larger than 0 0.05, we do not reject in our hypothesis. If you would like to set, if you would like to see the expected matrix, you'll see F6. You'll just go to matrix P, hit execute, and you would see all the values here. You can just exit and you can come back here. And if you would like to draw the distribution, you can draw the distribution as well. And from here itself, you can again see the chi square value and P value as well. So this is how you do chi square test on Casio CG50. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe our channel so that you are informed with our new videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day.